Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology, faculty of medicine, Mansoura University. Let us try to answer multiple choice question in obstetrics. Choose the one best response. Let us start with the first. A 26 year old, prime gravida woman is at 16 weeks gestational age. She undergoes the quad screen and has an elevated level of maternal serum alpha fetoprotein. Her pregnancy is at increased risk for which of the following? A. Gestational diabetes B. Klein-Filter syndrome C. Down syndrome D. Gastroschisis E. Thyroid dysfunction Please choose the one best response and try to answer before me. Okay, the one best response is D. Gastroschisis which is one of the anterior abdominal wall defect of the fetus. Either gastroschisis or oncalocele, both associated with elevated maternal serum alpha fetoprotein. Okay. We know that maternal serum alpha fetoprotein is elevated in neural tube defect, the spina bifida and so on. But also with anterior abdominal wall anomalies like gastroschisis, oncalocele, and so on. Okay, let us go to the next. Which of the following cervical examination? Which of the following cervical examination is the most favorable for induction of labor? A. Cervix closed, posterior, firm, with 0% effacement. B. Cervix soft, in the position, 3 cm dilated, 50% effaced, minus 2 station. Cerv C. Cervix soft, anterior, 4 cm dilated, 80% effaced, with minus 1 station. D. Cervix medium, posterior, consistence, 2 cm dilated, 30% effaced. E. Cervix soft, mid position, 3 cm dilated, 50% effaced, with minus 3 station. Please choose the one best response and try to answer before me. The one best response here is C. Cervix soft, anterior, 4 cm dilated, 80% effaced, with minus 1 station. Okay, let's go to the next. When formal antenatal testing is done, which of the following is the most reassuring? A. Late deceleration on fetal monitoring. B. Contraction stress test with variable fetal heart rate decelerations with contractions, but moderate variability. C. A non-stress test with two acceleration of the fetal heart rate in 20 minutes that are at least 15 feet above the baseline and the last for at least 15 seconds. D. An increase in systolic to diastolic ratio in the umbilical blood flow. E. Score of sex on biophysical profile. Please choose the one best response okay everybody the one best response here is C a non-stress test with two acceleration of the fetal heart rate in 20 minutes that are at least 15 beats above the baseline and the last for at least 15 seconds let us go to the next what would be a contraindication to a trial of leper after cesarean? 
what's called to lack for trial of labor after cesarean. A. Period classical strotomy. B. Period care strotomy. C. Small for gestational age fetus. D. Oligohydraminous. E. Group B. Streptococcal infection positive mother. Please choose the one best response. The one best response here is A. Period classical stratum. Because we know the classical stratum or cesarean section, I mean, the classical one is upper segment, vertical one. So it is a weak score. So it's contraindicated to do trial labor after this type of cesarean section. Why? Here, the serotomy, the, the incision is low horizontal, so the scar is strong. Okay. Okay, go to the next. During antenatal care, the ultrasound revealed myelomeningocele, which which of the following is true and they may be used in counsel? Again, during antenatal care with ultrasound, revealed a myelomeningocele. Which of the following is true and they may be used in counsel? A. This is generally a lethal anomaly. B. Delivery must be by cesarean section. C. Fetal surgery includes laser therapy. D. Fetal surgery has been shown to improve some outcomes. E. Fetal surgery is experimental and has no known benefits. Please choose the one best response. The one best response here is D. Fetal surgery has been shown to improve some outcomes. Okay, let us go to the next. For women undergoing induction of labor with bishop score of five or less, which of the following is a commonly used first step? A. Non stress test, B. Oxytocin drip, C. Cervical application of prostaglandin E2. D. Caesarean section. E. Attempt at induction should be avoided at a bishop score of less than 5. Please choose the one best response. The one best response here is C. Cervical application of prostaglandin E2 to cause ripening of the cervix. Okay. Let's go to the next. A pregnant woman, 34 weeks gestational age, has an indication for early delivery. But first, a test for fetal lung maturity is done. Which of the following is true? A. Type 1 pneumocyte secrete surfactant B typically less than decrease as lung mature C a low LS ratio is associated with fewer cases of respiratory distress syndrome D a less than to sphingomyelin ratio greater than 2 is ideal if an early delivery is indicated E Fingomyelin decrease beyond 24 weeks. Please choose the one best response. The one best response here is D. Elicitin to sphingomyelin ratio, LS ratio, greater than 2 is ideal if an early delivery is indicated. 
okay not that which type of pneumocyte secretes surfactant type 2 not type 1 that's why a is drug okay go to the next a 24 year old prime gravida 35 weeks gestational age her low back ache low back pain is no longer relief with heating bed and she finds that she needs pain relief to make it through each work day which of the following option would be safest for her a ibuprofen b paracetamol c oxycodone d flexeril e aspirin please choose the one first response the one first response here is b paracetamol because we know that non-steroidal like ibuprofen or aspirin is contraindicated during the pregnancy due to premature closure of ductus serotoniuses. Narcotics and the muscle relaxant can be used, but in severe cases, but it is less safe than paracetamol. So the one best response here is paracetamol. Go to the next. A pregnant woman was complaining of nausea and vomiting, which had extended past the first trimester. What would suggest that she has hyperemesis gravidare? A. Less than 5% loss of, pregnant, of pre pregnancy weight. B. Cutinoria. C. Syncopal episodes. D. Jaundice. E. Metabolic acidosis. Please choose the one best response. The one best response here is B. Ketonori. Why I didn't choose A? Because more than 5% loss of pregnancy weight should happen not less than five percent okay that's why a is wrong metabolic acidosis is also false because what happened is alkalosis not acidosis okay Syncobal episodes and jaundice is not a characteristic to hyperemesis, so ketonuria is the best one response here. Let us go to the next. The biophysical profile is done to assess which of the following. The biophysical profile is done to assess which of the following. A. The systolic flow in the umbilical artery. B. Lung maturity. C. Blood flow in the middle cerebral artery. D. Fetal well being. E. Genetic abnormalities. Please choose the one best response. And please try to answer for me. The one best response here is D. Fetal well being fetal will be this is the end of this msq please write your score in a comment out of 10 okay out of 10 write your score i hope you can answer all of them true in this picture, this is my box published on Amazon, textbook of obstetric, textbook of gynecology, 
Current reception handbook, multiple choice question book, medical disorder in pregnancy book, and the gynecologic oncology book. My site on Amazon is this link, and I'll put it in a comment. My site on YouTube channel for more quizzes, MSQ, ASCII stations, lecture in obstetrics and the gynecology. You can find it through the link of YouTube channel. I'll put it in a comment also. Thank you, everybody.